efficiency with takeoff boost. My name is Jake Allen Morris, and I'm the Academy, Academy Event Specialist and also on screen takeoff and uh, quick bid product specialist here at Construct Connect. I'll be your host for today's session. Uh, just a couple of remind, reminders before we jump in. Uh, please ask those questions uh, in the chat by commenting on the video after you smash that subscribe button at the bottom of the video. When you subscribe to the channel, you'll see our videos in your feed. And if you click that bell icon, you can ensure that you'll be notified when we post new videos, like today's video, along with our other uh, pre-recorded videos, highlighting new features and any updated training videos. So please add those questions in the comments throughout the session. Uh, we should have some time to answer a few questions at the end uh, before we finish up. Uh, we'll be live on November 20th at 2 p.m. Eastern with our uh, last impact drill for 2024. Uh, but we'll be back in 2025 with trade specific sessions where each month we'll focus on a different trade and what the that takeoff and estimating will look like in on-screen takeoff and quick bid. So let's jump on into on-screen takeoff. So we've got uh, our first plan here and we've already run takeoff boost. We've already gone through reassigned to our trade specific items. And so this is what our plan could like, look like uh, when we are finished up with that plan. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through that process and we're gonna see exactly what that looks like. Uh, running takeoff boost, I've uh, got another example here already went through ran takeoff boost, modified, made some changes, and making that look uh, just the way that we wanted that to. So what is takeoff boost? Takeoff boost is our uh, AI uh, integration into on-screen takeoff uh, to do some of that initial takeoff for you, uh, speeding up that takeoff process so you don't have to go through and do every one of those clicks uh, you know, throughout that project. So uh, saving you time, being more efficient with that takeoff. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a few different uh, pages, see how that that takeoff uh, will work, what you can run that on and what that's going to look like with an on screen takeoff. So our first plan here, we've got our floor plan. Uh, as always, in on screen takeoff, you always want to check and verify that scale. I've already set that scale, verified it, but just making sure that we are utilizing that linear dimension to check that scale and verify that that is coming out correct before doing any takeoff and running takeoff boost. I'm going to go ahead and click on that takeoff boost button up on the top right. And that is going to pull up takeoff boost. And this is going to show my different options of what I can run uh, and, and what results I can get with this. So footprint area, that is going to be the whole uh, square footage of that floor plan. Uh, then the net area. That is going to be the inside edge of your surrounding wall. So essentially each room, uh, you'll be able to get each of those rooms broken down and then we'll look at how we can assign that to floors and ceilings, things like that. Uh, then next we have walls. We can just run it on all walls, just all walls as one condition, or we have the ability to break out wall types. So looking at those wall types, uh, we need to look at the, the shape that they are called out with. Now, it might be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I have a, a diamond shape back there. Uh, so I have that diamond selected, and so it is going to look for those diamond shapes when it is looking for those wall types. Then I have counts. I have several different door options that it's going to run on, several plumbing options that I can run on, and the elevator shafts. Now, this plan, I'm going to go ahead and just run everything. And so we're going to click that, run takeoff boost. And now I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to jump to my next page and I'm going to run takeoff boost on the next page as well. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my next page and I'm going to start running takeoff boost. I've already set and verified my scale on this page. And again, I'm going to go ahead and click that run takeoff boost. And I'm going to do the same options on this one. And then the next pages, we'll, we'll kind of change it up. We'll, we won't run it on everything on all the pages. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that run takeoff boost right away. Now, I can go through and run this on five pages at a time. By the time I get to the fifth page, that first one's most likely going to be back already, and I won't even get to five pages, uh, and I'll be having those results uh, coming back onto the, that page. And so I could kind of keep running through and, and running takeoff boost on multiple pages. So I'm on my third page now. I'm going to go ahead and click takeoff boost. And with this one, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to say, I don't need all of that. I, you know, Just depending on your trade, we might not want everything. I'm going to say, I don't need those counts right now. 
let's say uh, I just want my my rooms and you see over on the left, my, my conditions kind of did a little blip there and, and then they came back. That's letting me know that takeoff boost is finished on one of those other pages. So like I said, I'm only on the third page and I'm already getting the results back on those first two pages. So I could continue just running through, uh, re you know, starting on another page and another page and getting those results. So on this page, uh, like I said, uh, we're just gonna run, I, I just want my rooms and I want my walls. I don't want anything else on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that run takeoff boost. And then while that's running, we're gonna jump to the next page and we're gonna run another one. And so we're kind of just going through quickly, running this on several different pages and then we'll come back and we'll analyze those results. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, again, I've already set and verified my scale on this page. We're gonna click that takeoff boost. And on this page, we are going to say, you know what, I'm going to be doing flooring on this. All I want is my net area. I'm going to go ahead and click that run takeoff boost. I'm going to jump to another page here. And I know I'm kind of quickly jumping through pages here. I want to just show the how you can run this on several different pages, the different results that you can get with this. Now, we're on a foundation plan. Now, we right now, takeoff boost is designed for floor plan, architectural floor plans. But with the uh, with this foundation plan, we're going to run this on here and only do just walls, uh, you know, without the wall types, and then that uh, that footprint area. Essentially, that's going to be my footers and my slab, and I would be able to get that you know, you know pretty quickly and not have to go through and again complete all of those clicks and and do all that initial takeoff. So just seeing how we can utilize this on uh, different floor plans or d just different uh, plans and, and how that can be utilized. So I'm gonna do that footprint and I'm gonna do just straight wall segments, not trying to find wall types. And we're gonna go ahead and click run takeoff boost. And I'm gonna go to one more page and then we'll go back and we'll start looking at all of these results. And so now we are on our uh, RCP and I'm gonna go ahead and run takeoff boost on this page. And so on this one, I only want the net area because I just want my different rooms. I just want my, my different ceilings. I want to take a look at those. So I'm going to go ahead and click that net area and we are going to run takeoff boost. Now, I know I kind of ran through that quickly, wanted to show all the several different options, how we can run takeoff boost on several different uh, plans how we can get certain results that we are looking for and we don't have to run it on everything. We can kind of make that, uh, make those choices before running that takeoff or running boost and, and getting those, those results. So uh, while that is processing and it, we already see that's kind of popping in there. So really, well, that one was what, 10, 15 seconds uh, running that. So there's no way I could have gone through and done all that takeoff in that amount of time. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick here. We'll uh, start analyzing this and start modifying and, and making some changes. So we would obviously go through, look through our, uh, you know, our details, our, our schedule, and, and make sure that we know exactly what ceilings we're putting in here, what these need to be assigned to. And so I have uh, some different ceilings that have already been uh, created. So I'm going to say that this is, uh, I'm going to put my ACT ceiling and I'm going to start and just assign everything to one condition and then I'll go back and make changes to, you know, the ones that, you know, a couple here and there that are not quite the same. So I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to right click on that ACT ceiling and I'm going to say reassign objects. When I do that, I'm going to say All of it is going to be reassigned to that ACT ceiling, that particular, uh, you know, each uh, particular condition. So let's zoom in a little bit more. And so let's say, you know, obviously this is going to be a different type of AT, ACT ceiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just quickly uh, duplicate that. And we're gonna say this one is a uh, four by six uh, ACT ceiling. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select uh, these couple here, and then we are going to reassign 
to that new condition. And we're gonna say reassign, and there we go. So we're seeing how we can quickly modify a couple others that are you know not the same because the majority of this floor plan they're all going to be that that two by two act uh now obviously if we have you know get another ceiling type here we can go ahead and uh, reassign this and i notice i'm like you know what this one actually kind of did this as one room I, I need to go ahead and split that apart so i can use my split area and go ahead and I'm just going to split that at a, at a bit of an angle there, and then I can quickly clean that up. I'm just going to add a, a drag point there. Oop, didn't get the right spot there. I'll go ahead and put that back, and then I can drag that in, and now I've fixed that, that particular room, and then I'm going to go ahead and move that up. There we go. So a couple quick clicks there and fix that area, and then I can go ahead and assign this, and I could say, you know, maybe that's a, a drywall ceiling. We'll go ahead and reassign that. and there we go. So let's say we've we finished uh, modifying our drywall ceiling. We've made our changes that we needed to there. Uh, we got time to, to jump over to another plan. And, and I'm just going to, I'll kind of quickly jump back through these so you guys can see. There is my foundation plan. Same thing. I would go ahead and reassign that to my slab. I would reassign these linears to my footers. And then I would have my totals for those conditions. And let's go ahead and take a look at another plan here. And looking at uh, this page, so this one, all I did was each room. So here, uh, kind of like that, the RCP, I could say, you know, this one was flooring. And I could go through and select and reassign each of these to my pre-created flooring items and saving me that time of going through and, and doing all that takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and jump up to a, another couple pages here and just see what this looks like, uh, you know, completing multiple uh, conditions on that page. So here we have our wall types, plus we have our, uh, our different rooms broken out. And we can go ahead, I'm gonna turn off my, uh, those layers. And if you haven't utilized layers, very important part uh, when running uh, takeoff boost, utilizing those layers, those boost conditions come in with layers already assigned. Uh, so you don't have to go ahead and, and set each of those up as you're running through that process. But I've got all those wall types in there. I could go in and, and modify those wall types and just say, you know what, uh, this uh, W05, I'm gonna say that this one is a, a 10 foot wall and I need my surface area, both sides. And there we go. I've modified that condition. I've got the results that I need. That could be all you have to do. Or like we did with the other uh, conditions, we can reassign to another condition if we need to. All right, let's go ahead and jump back to one of those first pages that we did where I ran everything on there. And that's where, uh, like I said, we're, we'll really want to utilize uh, the layers so we can turn some of that information off uh, so that we, we can do a little better job analyzing all of that, that takeoff and, and seeing what that exactly looks like. So I already had my net area turned off, turned off my footprint area. And now I can really get in there and look at my walls and see, you know, if I uh, if I need to make any changes, uh, you know, modify any of this and or I might say, you know, everything looks good. Let me just uh, reassign these to a, a pre save condition and, and make those modifications as needed. So I uh, haven't seen any questions come into the, the chat there, but, uh, you know, if you have any questions, throw those in the chat. Uh, we're just about out of time here. But, uh, yeah, just looking at all the great ways that takeoff boost can improve your process, uh, be more efficient with your takeoff. I went through, what, you know, six, seven pages and, uh, you know, we didn't even have 15 minutes today and I have all that takeoff completed. Uh, one, you know, that RCP pretty much done already. So, are you able to do that amount of takeoff in that same amount of time without takeoff boost? How else could you, you know, improve your takeoff and estimating, utilizing takeoff boost, improving that takeoff time, and then giving you more time to, to complete uh, your bids and, and, you know, other things that you need to get done throughout your day. So let's go ahead and 
jump back to our uh, slides here. Just want to remind you of a, a couple things coming up. We do Bid Like a Boss every Wednesday, uh, except for the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, those sessions uh, just cover our different uh, products within Construct Connect. Uh, and then, of course, our uh, YouTube live sessions, what we're doing today. Uh, we'll be back November 20th, uh, focusing on uh, new databases, OST, QuickBid, kind of cleaning those things up. And then uh, in 2025, we are going to be doing trade specific sessions. Uh, those are going to be, uh, you know, just geared toward, towards each different trade, OST and QuickBid, see what that looks like uh, throughout that process. Uh, then we have classroom training in uh, our all 2024 classes are uh, already sold out. 2025, we will be in Salt Lake City in February. And then in May, uh, we'll be in Washington, D.C. So uh, if you need some more help, have questions. Um, and, uh, you know, feel free to, to reach out to our uh, our team. We've got several different ways to, to reach out to the training team, to our tech support team. Uh, if you need more training, uh, get in there, utilize that training, training videos. How do I? Uh, we'll, we'll help you out getting, getting utilized with those. So, all right. So got a got a couple questions coming in there. So I think it's the best for estimating. Love it. Love to hear that. So appreciate the the love there for OST and uh, takeoff boost. So uh, that is all I have for today. So thank you all for joining me. And as always, construction starts here. <laughs>